this cup holder has a piece of foam. It's like an insert that goes in there and these little tabs hold your cup firmly inside the larger cup holder. And this is a very common problem in every Ridgeline I've seen. And it's easy enough to get a cheap part. I think this is $11 on Amazon. Um, but there have been a few different uh, people saying how to actually get to it. Um, a couple videos said take off the entire console to get in here. Somebody else suggested that there's actually just five screws underneath here. I'm going to test that method and hope that it is that easy. Just get those five screws and place the foam. Let's see how it goes. One trick that I saw in a YouTube video was to tie this little uh, squeeze trigger together uh, in the squeezed position just so that the drawer can slide freely. So I found something kind of interesting. I know that there's these two pins that basically stop this drawer. This is the drawer. I'm going all the way forward. This thing here, this is the pin I'm talking about. On that side, it's this thing. And you should be able to force it upwards. But when it's pulled all the way forward, if you look in there, you'll see that it's actually a hook. If you see that little metal tab there, that is holding it onto this L bracket on the side here. So that when it's pushed all the way forward, you can't actually push that pin back into the body of the unit. So you have to release the drawer back in a little bit, just like half an inch. All right, I found a trick. Instead of struggling to go underneath the drawer and get screwdrivers to pry those pins up, you can actually just put your hand, and just go right underneath here, and you'll feel that spring-loaded pin. So right, put your finger right in the corner and press upwards, you'll feel it. Do that with both fingers, one on each side, and then just push the drawer straight forward, it'll come right off. So I push the pins up, boom, all the way forward. Now I'll search for those screws underneath. So one thing to note is that somewhere online I was reading that the screws underneath here, the five screws, are Phillips heads. They're actually not, they are stars or Torx heads, whatever you call them. Um, same as you see here, little small stars. Um, just so you know. So that's one screw, two screws, and there's one right up there, one right in the middle, and one right over here. And there you go, took the five screws out, and this pulls right up. Don't pull it up all the way, because there's still two screws in the back here, which I don't think we have to worry about, um, because this comes up just enough to let us access that foam. But if you pull it up all the way, you might break the, uh, the screws in the back. All right, let's pull the foam out. It's pretty similar, so I don't know how long this new one is going to last. Yeah, this old one has plastic reinforcing on the back too. Anyway, it's going to be uh, brand new, see how long it lasts. Boom, just like that. Good as new. All right, I'll put those five screws back in and we'll be back in business. There we go, finished product. Looks like new. I will say the hardest part of this entire process was putting in the screws on these corners, putting them back in. It is so hard to get a view of it. Um, if it helps, the way that I was able to see it, I tried everything. I tried putting my phone under there with the camera on to help me get a view, but it was so hard to find that little hole. 
And uh, if it helps, the way I did it was I laid down right in here with my uh, belly facing the, the gas and brake pedal. So my belly facing forward. And I was able to get one eye uh, of a view right underneath the cup holder. Just sticking my head in there and then I could get my hand in there. Uh, so yeah, if you're laying down in your car face forward, that is the only way I was able to see that screw hole. It took me probably 15 minutes just to get that one screw in. I got lucky on this one and was able to just uh, find it invisibly by sticking the screw up there. And I just happened to get lucky and find it. But there you go. Brand new cup holder.